Hundreds of migrants have taken over his affluent New York City neighborhood, according to Lady Gaga's father, who has spearheaded the campaign against them, saying they are assaulting locals. Joe Germanota, the pop star's 66-year-old father, resides at the Pythian on the Upper West Side. Just across the street, the Stratford Dams Hotel has been converted into a refuge for 500 migrants. He now asserts that the new neighbors are to blame for the streets becoming filled with prostitution, drinking, and risky behavior. Every week, on average, 2,300 migrants arrive in the Big Apple, draining the city's limited resources and straining the existing assistance system. There are currently 500 refugees residing in that hostel, he told the New York Post. The chaos started right then, hookers constantly come and go. You may observe prostitutes leaving the premises in the mornings. The nighttime is the worst. The uproar. It begins about 10 o'clock and lasts until 4 in the morning, playing music while motocrossing and racing their motorcycles across the streets. Put the right security measures in place and maintain a police presence and behavior code. They are visitors in our community and they have essentially taken over. The on-screen walkways are now covered in trash and needles, according to Germanota, who claimed that none of the UWS residents were informed about the migrant refugee. Although he acknowledged that most of the migrants are undoubtedly decent individuals, he said that the building's decision to house them had screwed the neighborhood because of their antisocial behavior. Germanota, a New Jersey native, claimed that they are even making catcalls to juvenile females as young as 14. American Music and Dance Academy once occupied the space that is now a center for migrants. In my opinion, you should have just suspended sanctuary city designation until we had enough housing and then said, yeah, okay, you can send some more, he stated in reference to Eric Adams' approach to the issue. It's a joke. Why isn't he hired by a cruise ship? More passengers can fit on cruise ships, and the atmosphere is more regulated. The city is spending a lot of cash that might be used to finance the construction of affordable housing. The really sad part is that we still have our fair share of veterans and the homeless in the neighborhood. But we're not caring for our own, said the resident. They don't always receive food. It is quite sad. I'm sorry for them. Manhattan's Vanderbilt Avenue and East 45th Street intersection was the focal point of the nation's migrant invasion just last week. After arriving in the region on buses from the south, hundreds of people lined the block in an attempt to access the temporary processing facility. Residents were outraged by the image and urged Mayor Eric Adams to take more action. Within walking distance of Times Square, the Empire State Building, and the World Trade Center Memorial. Hotels like the Roosevelt Hotel and others have turned into gathering places for refugees. The refugees were given tiny red tickets with numbers on them during the weekend, and every so often hotel staff would emerge and call numbers to admit individuals inside the air-conditioned lobby. Others were left to wait outdoors in the sweltering heat of New York City, frantically pushing closer to the front to get inside. Today, Eric Adams stated that as the city struggles to provide shelter, it would spend $12 billion by 2025 on housing and services for the influx of migrants coming in the cities through buses. Adams emphasized that we are facing an unprecedented state of emergency and once more urged the federal government to step up its assistance. This country's immigration system is broken and has been for many years. Adams stated, Today, New York City has been left to pick up the pieces. The Democratic mayor has been under fire for his lack of action in the face of the present migrant crisis in New York City, which he has continued to attribute to a lack of federal funding. In order to shelter, feed, and assist the asylum seekers, according to Adams, the city spends more than $9 million per day. Weekly arrivals are increasing with buses observed arriving at the Roosevelt Hotel on Wednesday morning to drop off additional migrants for processing. By the conclusion of the fiscal year in July 2024, 
According to prior estimates by municipal authorities, the city would have spent roughly $4.3 billion on housing, feeding, and providing services to migrant families. However, since then, the number of migrants entering the city has dramatically increased, and municipal officials are now spending an average of $9.8 million per day, or more than $300 million each month. The city is currently anticipated to spend up to $6.1 billion by July 2024. Adams remarked on Wednesday, New Yorkers' compassion may be boundless, but our resources are not. And our federal and state partners are aware of this, they say. More migrants were observed being bussed into the city on Wednesday. There are already more than 57,000 migrants sleeping in city shelters and emergency housing systems. Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, has bussed about 10,000 immigrants into New York City during the last few months. One of them, a Colombian called Luis, described to Daily Mail. Come on Wednesday how he and his family endured an arduous voyage over many borders, including those of Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Mexico, and now have spent a month in New York's Roosevelt Hotel. According to Luis, who could hardly speak English, their expedition involved an eight-day hike through the forest. A long-standing consent agreement in a class-action lawsuit requires New York to provide housing for individuals without houses. On Randall's Island soccer fields and at the defunct Creedmoor Psychiatric Center in Queens. Respectively, the city plans to establish shelters that will purportedly get state funding. Additionally, on Friday, Workers could be seen unloading supplies from trucks to renovate the play center in McCarran Park in Brooklyn, which is located between the opulent Greenpoint and Williamsburg districts. The Pox Leisure Center, which is well liked by inhabitants of the wealthy and uber liberal Williamsburg neighborhood because of its swimming pool and gym, will now house migrants in temporary accommodation. The additional occupants won't have an influence on the Leisure Center's amenities. Municipal officials stated in a statement.